Welcome to Iron Fortress, ladies and gents. We're starting to see a little bit of variation in the maps chosen by the players now and representing Team Extreme Supremacy. Strong choice of words there. In the bottom left-hand corner, as the pink Zerg player, we have Elaser. His opponent in the top right-hand corner, representing WYG, it's Imdata. Now, Imdata is a, a, a Protoss player from France. I'm gonna uh, gone quite far in the bracket. He just defeated. Who did he just defeat? Sorry, I'm gonna alt tab just for a sec to double check. He just defeated Romulus. And Romulus is a pretty strong player, so I'm kind of looking forward to this matchup. The winner of this plays against the winner of DMC and Botvinnik, by the way. Uh, Botvinnik hailing from Spain, DMC from Russia. DMC's already dispatched Jonah in this, uh, in this tournament as well. So, uh, a lot of strong names remaining, and we're going to see some very, very high quality of matches coming your way. Imdata going to be scouting the top left position for us. Won't be able to find anything there. Elaser now. Chilling out. Uh, we'll see that his opponent will be cross positions eventually, thanks to these overlords. Of course, he went for that uh, hatch very, very quickly indeed. Followed by the spawning pool, but not before grabbing a little bit of gas. So just keeping that potential open to have that early map control with that faster zergling speed if required. Oops, Cybernetics were not quite placed in the ideal location there. And Imdata cancelling and remaking that should be no massive deal. Both sides going for the macro heavy play early on. Still just the one gas, of course, for Elaser. Up to 100 now. Are we spending it immediately on Zergling speed? We absolutely are. And notice that we instantly take those drones off of the extractor. So I believe the probe just caught a quick glimpse of the shimmering spawning pool. Uh, saw that there was zero works left on gas and left. So good bit of scouting there from Imdata. We'll be able to see everything Elaser is about to throw at him. Is that a panther? I think it might be. Always difficult to tell uh, the difference between all of the wild, all of the big wild cats, but I'm pretty confident that's a panther. Third base coming down now at the five minute mark for our Zerg. Zerglings will not be able to prevent the probe from getting a scout off on that, and might even kill the probe actually on its way back to base. Can last a grand total of one more hit, and there we go. Pile of rubble in the middle of the map there. Those are very bright, whatever they are. Very, very bright. The massive Zerg logo. Come on, this has to be biased, Blizzard. What's going on here? I'd love if that, like, uh, changed to a Terran Protoss logo, depending on the matchup. But never mind. A forge coming down as part of the wall off now as well. M Data just trying to uh, slowly prevent uh, any sort of scout coming in. And we have the rocks here being tickled to death by the sentry. And I say tickled because if you take a look. Well, I guess it's doing some amount of damage. It's going to take an awfully long time, though. If I was to cast a sentry taking down rocks, I don't think that would be a particularly enjoyable cast for all involved. This Overlord being very adventurous, actually, parking himself right over the Zelnaga Tower. And I say that because, you know, it's that time of the game where stalkers are already a thing. So you get a stalker out in the middle of the map, and this Overlord is basically meat. I'm really surprised uh, that it's in this position. But, I guess these Zerglings are going to be able to give it ample warning to move to one side. Let's see if it manages to survive the entire game. Layer coming down now for Elaser. Mothership Core on its way from Imdata in response. And now we have Overlords getting into position to scout. Potential tech coming in from our Protoss. At the moment, nothing new. We're just going up to five gateways though, that's worth noting. Warpgate research is already done. And Elaser's going to want to get a glimpse in here and see exactly what's going on. We'll spot the two more gateways going down. Hasn't seen any additional tech. He's going to want to keep scouting until he does spot something. He's got the Roach Warren here, potentially just for defensive purposes, as he's not 100% certain what he is facing yet. And the layer is nearly complete for our Zerg player as well. We have a bit of a move out now as the third base gets taken. A lot of sentries with this Mothership Core.
And it looks like Overlord in the middle has been replaced with a Zergling, so probably a good decision there. Zikoz in chat says, I wonder what websites I visited that makes Twitch think serving me up mascara ads is a good idea. That's actually quite interesting uh, for a number of reasons. First, thank you, as that pylon gets uh, cancelled, for not using ad blocks. Secondly, ooh, as these Zerglings decide to run away from this onslaught of Protoss army, I agree. I actually work in advertising, and I know a reasonable amount about remarketing. So, you know what? I'd be interested to see what your browsing history looks like, but... As long, as long as it really is just ads for mascara you're being served. I'm not sure I want to see the uh, the nether regions of Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox's uh, history there. But it, it is a little bit odd to see mascara ads, I will admit. Kind of makes me want to see them. They're like, what, what are people being served? What are gamers into? Got to put on that makeup before you go on stream, man. Got to look pretty. It's important. You don't look pretty, you don't get the viewers, you don't get the followers, you don't get the subs! And speaking of looking pretty, this attack at the moment is looking pretty. There's an awful lot of space between the natural expansion and the third base, and these sentries are saying, actually, mate, I think I can go ahead and stop you from taking this out. Oh, if we get another round of force fields there, this hatch goes down. Oh, it looks like he's just going to try and YOLO it. I think he should have taken the time to put some force fields down. Recall. Recall. Recall! <gasps> no! Mistimed! Mistimed! 50 hit points left on this hatchery! And that, that did not go well at all. Oh dear, oh dear, he actually recalled to the natural as well, and the third is under attack. Number of work has killed 7 to 1 right now. And these guys are added hammer and tongs, but a little bit of a mistake from Imdata means that the hatch stays alive. Why is that important if you're not mining from it? It's important because larva are a really important part of the Zerg game. But, Imdata looks like he's about to be overwhelmed, and he is. Game number one is going to go in Laser's way. And uh, Imdata unable to defend against that third base. Good shot against the third, but maybe he should have been staying home defending himself. Who knows? We'll find out in game number two.